What's up guys, Rob from FLX. Last week we went into the factory to take a look at the beginning stages of frame production. Today, a little bit more of that. We will be looking at exactly how we decrease the tolerances on every part of the frame just to put everything in line. I'll show you more of what I'm talking about right here. If you look at any bike frame uh, from the rear, what we're looking for is everything to line up the seat tube, seat stays, chain stays looking for for things to be exactly in place there are tolerances on any side of the frame but we want to reduce those as much as possible so that every frame is built to exacting standards how do we do it come with me and i'll show you welcome back deep inside the frame factory we've just received a very special shipment here very heavy and very exciting this is the tooling the templates the welding jigs where your baby maker frame will be built. These have been built to very, very, very exact standards. And if you look closely, you can see where each part of the baby maker frame is going to rest. We're gonna get right into that in just a second, but for now, admire this amazing machinery. That's not all though. Take a look at this, there is more. The last one, that's for a complete frame. Now here on the left, you see one for the seat stays. So this is where the, uh, the bridge between the two seat stays will go. That's right above the tire. Right above it, this kind of locks those into place. Moving on, you'll see where the dropout is installed onto each piece of the chain stay. And then here, this is for the entire frame for installing the dropout as well. So you can see here, these lock into the rear dropout. If you're very familiar with frames, you'll, you'll know what this means. If not, uh, just enjoy the machinery here. Moving on, just a bit more work here on the seat tube. You'll see these holes being drilled here. Actually interesting what those are for, it's for when the frame is completely welded together and it's dipped into cleaning fluid and anti-corrosion fluid. These are actually holes um, where the seat stays are mounted for all of that fluid to drain out so it doesn't get stuck in the frame. Pretty cool. Moving on here, we've got a lot of tubes here. This is the down tube. And what's going on here is he's punching out the bottom portion of the down tube. This is where it's going to go around the seat tube and mount also to the bottom bracket. So it needs a very precise shape for all those pieces to go together. You'll see that a bit later. The engineers will appreciate this one. The slot here for the cables to come out fits perfectly into this template. And this is the top tube. So what's done here is the top tube is actually in this uh, machine controlled template, which is really cool. And that is used to machine the back of the top tube where it will attach to the seat tube. So throughout this process, as we calibrate the tooling and machine the tubes for the baby maker frame, the individual pieces are laid out on this 2D drawing. This 2D drawing, by the way, is built from our 3D design of the bikes and each of these heavy, heavy paperweights that you see here, uh, those have completely straight lines and they're used to pinpoint the exact points on the frame that are of interest to confirm that all the angles are correct the positions are correct, and that this baby maker frame will be worthy of the FLX name. All right guys, that's it for today's production update. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and we'll see you in the next one.